Hi, hello guys. In this video, we will together create an animation in just PowerPoint. All right, so this will not be just an animation. It would be, I would say, quite quick, but a little bit more advanced animation in PowerPoint because we will use something called masks. All right, so let's get started. So go into Home tab. No, actually go into Insert tab and right here click on Shapes and let's create just a square. So as you can see, I chose rectangle and I am creating a rectangle right now. But if I would like to create a square, so one by one proportions, I just need to press my Shift key. That's it, exactly. All right, so I would say we need to align this square to the middle and to the center. So click on this, so click on this square, go to the shape format, align, align center and align middle. All right, so as you can see right now, this is just a slide with a square in the middle. But we would like to animate this object, this square. So go into Animations tab and just click Fly In. All right. Open Animation Pane, so right here. And I think we can preview this effect. So click right here, Play From. And as you can see, this square is flying in from the bottom because right here, as a default PowerPoint set, this effect from the bottom. And this is really linear animation. And I will tell you in a moment how to create something better than just this linear animation. So you need to click right here, so on this animation, and right here you have this drop down arrow. So click on it. Right now, click effect options. And as you can see here, you have three options to choose between smooth start, smooth end, and bounce end. So I will, I will let me create some copies of it and I will show you the difference. All right. So the first square is just normal square. I mean, animation is just normal animation, default animation. Uh, the second will be smooth start to maximum. The third will be smooth end to maximum. And the fourth uh, bounce end, well, I think we can set it to 0.4 seconds. And actually there is a useful trick. If you'd like to set bounce end, you can select smooth start also, but you cannot have smooth end and bounce end at the same time, as you can see. All right, so 0.4 seconds, uh, yeah, all right. And select all of those animations, right click and start with previews. And I think right now we can play all, so we will preview this effect. Yeah, actually this is um, too quick, so I will increase duration to, let's say, two seconds. And right now we can play all. And as you can see, all of those animations, duration is set to two seconds, right? But as you can see, the first one is really linear. The second is with smooth end. So actually in the beginning of this animation, this square is, uh, let's say, slow. In the third square, we set smooth end. So at the end of this animation, this square is slow. And the last one, the last square, we set bounce end. And, ac and actually, as you can see, um, this, is, uh, this square is bouncing, exactly. And yeah, and I, th I wanted to show you those four options, but there are also something called masks in PowerPoint. Because right now, as you can see, right here, we can see those squares flying by, right? And let's say we would, and let's say we wouldn't like them 
to be visible only here. So let me give me a moment and I will show you what I mean. So we need to insert just a rectangle right here and we need to set background color and we need to set color of this rectangle to color of our background. And of course, as you can see, we can set white color, but let's say right now you would like to change color of your background to maybe black. And as you can see, our mask um, is right now visible. So it will be a better choice to click on this rectangle. And right here you have something called slight background fill. So as you can see, Right now our background is black, so mask is also black. Uh, our background is gray, so mask is also gray. And I think right now we can preview our animation with this mask applied. So as you can see, let me uh, increase the size. As you can see, we cannot see here our squares. That's because uh, this rectangle that we have added is right above our squares. But right here where there is no mask, of course, those squares are fully visible. So I think, uh, yeah, it looks quite interesting because usually I will, I will show you the difference. Right now without this mask, as you can see, and right now with this mask applied. Yeah, exactly. I think it looks much better with this mask applied. So of course, uh, if you would like to create amazing animations, amazing animations, PowerPoint is not the best program to create this kind of animations. Uh, I would recommend you Adobe After Effects, but Adobe After Effects is, qu is quite advanced uh, program and for really professionals. But you know, of course, if you have PowerPoint, you can also create some uh, animations. Of course, a little bit less advanced. Uh, yeah, but you know, PowerPoint is basically presentation uh, design program, right? It's not uh, perfectly for animations. So I think that's cool that uh, we have this feature to create animations in PowerPoint. All right, guys, so uh, post a comment if you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel if you would like to learn how to present yourself excellently. Have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.